Welcome back to Gemma Movie Recap Channel. Today, we're here to share with you the plot of the 2022 movie Centauro. It revolves around Rafa, a skilled professional motorcycle racer. As Rafa pursues his racing career, he encounters challenges related to his ex-girlfriend, Natalia. Despite their breakup, Rafa remains invested in Natalia's struggles. But before we delve into the storyline, we want to give you a spoiler alert. Remember to support our channel by subscribing and activating the bell icon for future updates. Let's get started. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The story takes place in Spain, where we are introduced to the protagonist, Rafa. At the start of the film, Rafa is gearing up for the selection process of the Superbike World Championship. As a widower and a devoted father to his son, Rafa harbors great ambition to follow in the footsteps of Valentino Rossi and become a successor in the MotoGP Championship. The race commenced with a mixture of tension and excitement among the riders, all striving to reach the pinnacle. Rafa, mounted on a Kawasaki Z10RR known for its exceptional performance, set off with determination. During the course of the race, Rafa skillfully surpassed several competitors and claimed the first position. However, as the race entered its final two laps, Rafa encountered engine troubles, leaving him disheartened. It seemed his dream of becoming a superbike racer would be shattered, and he would have to wait another year for the selection process. Unexpectedly, Regina, a talent scout from the Honda team, approached Rafa and extended an invitation to join their team. Grateful for the opportunity, Rafa accepted the offer, assuring Regina of his punctuality for the upcoming selection. After returning from the race circuit, Rafa, unfortunately, arrived late to pick up his son, causing his ex-wife Natalia to be upset. They had previously agreed that their son Medio would spend the weekend with Rafa, aiming for his holistic development. Inside Rafa's home, the display of numerous trophies from his motocross and supersport championships showcased his undeniable talent in motorcycle racing. Rafa shared a video of himself on the racetrack with Matteo before returning him to Natalia the next day. To rekindle their stagnant relationship, Rafa invited Natalia for a walk, hoping for reconciliation. However, Natalia firmly declined expressing her belief that Rafa had prioritized his motorcycle over his family. Undeterred, Rafa continued his preparations for the upcoming selection process. Rafa responded to Regina's invitation and attended the selection process for the Honda team, where he would compete against three other passionate and younger riders. Regina explained that the selection would consist of four rounds, held over the course of several weeks. The first round of the selection process commences, and Rafa dominates the competition. Securing first place on the Honda CBR 600 Roar, Regina is pleased with his performance, affirming her decision to bring him onto the team. Eager to share the good news with Natalia, Rafa rushes to her house, only to find it in disarray, leaving him anxious. It is revealed that Natalia is involved in a drug delivery service, working for a dealer named Carlos. Unfortunately, the drugs worth 200,000 euros that Natalia was supposed to deliver have gone missing, leaving her in a state of confusion. Without hesitation, Rafa takes Natalia and Medio into his home to ensure their safety. Deeply concerned about Natalia's predicament, Rafa decides to confront Carlos. To gather information, he seeks assistance from his best friend, Cortes. Armed with valuable insights, Rafa confronts Carlos at his base, attempting to negotiate and resolve the issues faced by his ex-wife. Initially, Carlos dismisses Rafa, refusing to engage in any discussion. Determined to find a solution, Rafa returns home to explore alternative means of resolving Natalia's debt. Unexpectedly, Rafa receives a call from one of Carlos' men, instructing him to meet at a tattoo parlor on the outskirts of the city. Intrigued, Rafa complies and finds himself being escorted by Carlos' henchman, Boro, to an undisclosed location. After a while, the car transporting Rafa reaches a port in Marseille, where he is assigned to pick up a package of drugs. The package is to be delivered to the same tattoo parlor he had visited earlier. But this time, you must ride a powerful Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R Rafa, is instructed to refuel at a specified location and find a safe route to avoid the police. Without hesitation, Rafa accelerates on the motorcycle, following the given instructions. During his journey, Rafa encounters a problem as he is pursued by diligent police officers patrolling the highway in a Nissan GTR A35. Utilizing his exceptional racing skills, Rafa manages to outmaneuver the officers and arrives at the tattoo parlor punctually. To Rafa's surprise, the package he was carrying contains tapioca flour instead of drugs. Carlos intentionally conducted this test to assess Rafa's abilities. Subsequently, Carlos offers Rafa the proposition to work as his courier for two months in order to repay Natalia's debt. 
Without hesitation, Rafa agrees to take on the job. Carlos entrusts Rafa with a cell phone and emphasizes the importance of being available whenever Carlos requires his services. Despite his new role as a drug courier, Rafa continues with his regular job the following morning. Balancing his commitments becomes a challenge as he must divide his time between work, being a drug courier, and pursuing his racing passion. During the second round of the Honda team selection, Rafa fails to answer his phone, resulting in Boro awaiting him at the selection site. Boro takes Rafa to the familiar tattoo parlor and assigns him the task of delivering a package. Once again, Rafa encounters police officers who receive reports of a suspiciously fast Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R on the streets. Anxious about being chased, Rafa manages to hide among parked cars and swiftly escapes using a shortcut. Arriving at Carlos' residence, Rafa expresses his dissatisfaction with the power of the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R and requests a 1000 Kawasaki with racing tires to enhance his speed in delivering packages. Returning home, Rafa informs Natalia that the issues with Carlos have been resolved, crediting his best friend, Cortez, without disclosing the details to avoid causing Natalia worry. At Rafa's request, he is provided with a Kawasaki ZH2, known for its super torque and 1000 supercharged engine. The multitude of activities takes a toll on Rafa, leading him to rely on the drugs provided by Boro to sustain his energy for juggling his three roles, factory worker, racer, and drug courier. As time goes by, the third round of the racer selection approaches, and despite being out of shape, Rafa remains enthusiastic. While on the track, Rafa accidentally collides with another racer, leading to a heated argument between them. The racer accuses Rafa of intentionally causing harm, but Rafa insists that it was unintentional. Regin intervenes and manages to defuse the situation. Upon returning home that evening, Rafa is taken aback to find Natalia packing her belongings, intending to leave the house. Desperate, Rafa pleads with Natalia and Mateo to stay, expressing his desire to work on their relationship. The following day, Rafa is assigned another delivery, this time in the midst of a protest occurring in the city center. He discovers a significant police presence as they maintain security during the event. Carlos proposes a daring plan. Rafa must navigate through the crowd on his motorcycle to complete the delivery. With no alternative, Rafa pushes through the rows of protesters and police, braving their presence. In the chaos, a police officer fires a bullet, causing Rafa to fall but fortunately it escaping serious injury. He quickly gets back on his feet and flees, feeling threatened by the dangerous situation. Feeling the urgency, Rafa contacts Boro, requesting his assistance in evading the pursuers he believes to be pursuing him. Rafa races to locate Boro's car, and with their collaboration, manages to escape, leaving the scene behind. Upset by the incident, Carlos blames Boro's cousin, Balder, for the mishap, but Boro staunchly defends his cousin, believing him incapable of such actions. Natalia came to the realization that Rafa had resorted to becoming a drug courier to repay her debts. She understood that Rafa had made significant sacrifices, which deeply touched her. As a result, they both agreed to reconcile and restart their relationship. The following day, Rafa visits the racetrack to participate in the final stage of the selection process for the Honda team's main riders. Initially, Rafa performs exceptionally well, leading the race. However, due to a lack of concentration, he mistakenly chooses the wrong lane in the middle of the track. Rafa's error disappoints Regina immensely, as she had high expectations for him. Feeling frustrated and wanting to release his pent-up emotions, Rafa resolves to fulfill his last obligation, which involves delivering a package of drugs. Upon arriving at an old building, he encounters Boro, who is prepared to receive payment from the client. As Rafa prepares to leave, believing he has completed his task, Boro unexpectedly informs him that he must return the following morning to deliver another package. This angers Rafa, as he senses he is being taken advantage of. Under the pretense of retrieving his cell phone, Rafa storms towards Boro, seizes his helmet, and fiercely strikes him with it. Afterward, Rafa contacts Cordes and solicits his assistance in concealing Boro's body. Rafa proposes a deal to Cortes, offering to disclose the location of Carlos' drug warehouse in exchange for Cortes taking control of Carlos' illicit business. Eagerly agreeing to the arrangement, Cortes readily accepts, harboring his own grievances against Carlos. Meanwhile, as Boro remains missing, Carlos pays a visit to Rafa's house inquiring about Boro's whereabouts. Rafa fabricates a tale, claiming that Boro, an individual trusted by Carlos, absconded with his money alongside his cousin Valder. Carlos, believing Rafa's account, accompanies him to search for Boro and Valder. While en route, Carlos becomes aware of someone tailing them, prompting him to reverse course and head to his warehouse to secure his drug packages. Once they arrive, Rafa shares his location with Cordes, requesting assistance. After some time, 
One of Carlos's associates reveals that Rafa's story was false, as Balder was currently imprisoned and not involved in taking Carlos' money. This discovery enrages Carlos, realizing that Rafa deceived him. With the intention of exacting revenge, Carlos plans to shoot Rafa. Sensing the imminent danger, Rafa makes a desperate attempt to flee. He speeds away on a motorcycle, with Carlos in pursuit, driving his car. Rafa's motorcycle collides with a forklift, causing him to tumble and become incapacitated. Seizing the opportunity, Carlos places Rafa in the trunk of his vehicle and embarks on a search for Boro and the missing money. Thankfully, Rafa discovers his cell phone in his pocket and contacts Cortes for assistance. Upon receiving Rafa's message, Cortes swiftly intervenes to halt Carlos' actions and rescue Rafa. Just as Carlos exits the warehouse area in his car, a large truck unexpectedly crashes into him, trapping him inside the vehicle. Moments later, Cortes arrives to rescue Rafa, and ultimately, he eliminates Carlos by shooting him, resulting in his demise. In the story's conclusion, Rafa manages to resolve all of his challenges and is reunited with his wife and son, paving the way for a better life. Regina extends an invitation for Rafa to rejoin her team, recognizing him as the ideal racer for the Honda team. However, during Rafa's meeting with Regina, two unexpected policemen arrive and arrest him, leaving Regina astonished by this turn of events. Rafa is taken to the police station for questioning regarding his involvement with the drug cartel network. Surprisingly, instead of being incarcerated, the police present him with a unique opportunity. They offer him a job to assist them in dismantling the drug trafficking syndicate. Without hesitation, Rafa agrees to the proposition and requests a Kawasaki ZA2 motorcycle equipped with racing tires to carry out his duties effectively. And so, the story concludes. Please share your thoughts on the film in the comments section. Remember to give it a thumbs up and support the channel by subscribing and enabling notifications to stay updated on future recaps. If you have any movie recommendations for us to recap, feel free to mention them in the comments. Thank you and see you next time.